despite being told to leave the property two days ago, there are still some people living in the RVs. Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cordero joins us live from Silmar with the latest developments. Christian. Yeah, Giovanna, some people, including the homeowner herself, city and county officials have stopped by this property several times in the past few weeks to inspect it, to offer housing uh, for the people who live there, and to cut the power. Now, because a superior court judge ordered everyone here to leave, we expect at some point that they will come back and make sure that has, in fact, happened. So far, it hasn't. Uh, there are still 20 RVs or so on the lot with a generator going. We're told some tenants are still living in there. How many, though, we're not exactly sure. Some accepted help from the city are, are now staying in a temporary emergency shelter. But those who stayed here at the home in Silmar are siding with the homeowner, Cruz Florian Godoy, who had until Sunday to get out. One of her workers told us yesterday that she doesn't plan to leave. And she spoke last night saying she doesn't think anything she's doing was wrong. I feel really sad. They say I've lied to them, that they've become sick while living here, but I say sorry because I had no idea this was happening to them. Former tenants have repeatedly told us that they've been threatened by Godoy and the men who work for her through the years, uh, even since speaking out. Now, we've seen people load some junk onto the trucks over the past 24 hours, and the curtains uh, that you see behind me and as well as in the video went up around that time frame as well. We first reported on this story about a month ago and promised that we would continue to ask many of the questions that still have not been answered, and they still there are still many that haven't been answered to this day, uh, including you know, the fact that there are people here who are living here and don't want to leave, what will happen to them? Will the city force them to leave? With the RVs themselves, when they leave the lot, where will they go and who even owns them? Because Godoy says that she doesn't. Uh, lots of questions. The only thing that has been ordered so far has been ordered by the court, and her next court appearance is scheduled nine days from today. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.